Hey there, it's Patrick Lasasso. During one of my live Zoom classes, a student asked, what should I be doing on my off days, the days I don't work out? What a gift of a question that was. As of today, I'm in pre-production for a new DVD program for off-day routines, so stay tuned for that. You really should allocate time every day to do a little something. This can help translate the hard work you do during your workouts into practical, functional gains. It doesn't have to be an intense 30-minute workout. In fact, a session like that shouldn't be performed every day. I bet you're glad to hear that. You need off days to recover. But if you dedicate three to five minutes on off days to focused attention on yourself, your technique, your movement, your brain-body connection, I think you'll find it not only supports your workouts, but you'll enjoy it. And you'll look forward to your off day routines. So here's a short two to three minute ankle mobility routine you could do that can help you walk better and safer. You can practice it anywhere, even standing in line at the grocery store. Now, after you watch this video, post a comment, let me know what you think. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel by clicking the red button below and remember to ring the bell icon so you'll never miss a new video. I have the most comprehensive line of exercise DVDs you'll find available on Amazon or my website. And another option, if you're internet savvy, it's really cool, is the Smart XPD on-demand platform. It gives you immediate access to all of my DVD programs, plus exclusive workouts and videos only there. You can check it out for free by clicking the card right up here in the corner. I'll put a link to it in the description section below as well. You can also support this channel by joining and you'll gain immediate access to hundreds of classes and workouts. Just click the join button. Now, let's get to this quick off day routine that can help you walk better. Two or three minutes. Let's do it. Okay, here's a quick routine you can do on your off days to help with your walking. Doesn't take a lot of time at all. We're gonna start by just rocking back and forth uh, on the ankle. I'm lifting my heels and lifting my toes. Let me preface this routine. If you have balance issues, please be careful. You can actually do this while holding onto a chair if you like. But Parkinson's can cause shuffling of gait. So making sure our ankles are functional. We've got a nice calf stretch that we do every day. Making sure we're able to lift the toes is really important. So my hope is that this little routine here will help you walk better. So as I go up, I'm lifting my toes up as high as I can. And as I lift my heels, I'm lifting my heels up as high as I possibly can, just rocking back and forth. And that's probably enough for our warm up. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna sequence that ankle movement, how it would function while we walk. So if we're walking forward or walking around forward, our, we're gonna have a combination of toe lifts and, and um, heel lifts. So as we stride forward, the leg that would come forward, we'd wanna lift our toe, right? So we wouldn't shuffle our gait. So lift that toe, hold it there. And as we stride this leg forward, this leg here would be pushing off. That ankle would be pushing off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift this toe and lift this heel. This is pretty balance challenging. And we're gonna drop and switch back and forth lifting the toes lifting the heels and again emphasizing complete range of motion really power lift those ankles and press the heels up lift the toes up back and forth and the last little fun thing to do with this would be to incorporate the arm movement that would match the ankle function as we walk so if we're striding forward right this toe would be lifting so as I stride forward with this leg, this arm is going to come forward. So as I lift this toe, this arm comes forward, this heel comes up. And as I switch and lift this toe, this arm is going to come forward. So it looks a little bit like this. It is not all that easy to coordinate, but it's worthy of the pursuit and worthy of the practice. And it only takes about two or three minutes to do on your off days. There's one of the routines you could do. Have fun with it. I hope you like it. Keep moving, my friends. I'll see you at the gym or now online. I'm Patrick.